Hi, this is CBD Ed. Uh, talking to you from Canafil's lab in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm often asked, why is Canafil so so strong, so much stronger than others? All right, let me tell you why. So uh, there will be a couple of things. So where we get it from, how we get it, and what we do with it. How about that? So where do we get it from? So first of all, I want you to recognize that this is a hemp plant. A little bit different from a marijuana plant because this thing is mostly stalk and then we have a few leaves. All right, and this, this plant grows to, you know, 10, 12, 15 feet tall. Uh, so you know, it's, a, it's a long, scraggly plant. Anyway, from this plant, there's CBD in the whole thing, but where our grower and our extractor get our product from is from the leaves and flowers, not from the stalk. Now, there are products out there that just com just uh, primarily grab the CBD from the stalk. Why? Because if you get CBD from the stock, when they sell it, it's $24 a pound just for the stock. When they sell just the lease and the flowers, it's somewhere between $7 and $1,400 a pound. So you can see there's a huge difference between the two and it's equally uh, valuable in uh, how, it affects, how it affects us once we get it. So that's the first place is we get it from uh, a great grower in Colorado and he's able to pull the leaves and the flowers off the stalk, and that's where the extraction process will start. Now, once, once you have this biomaterial available, there are uh, a few types or forms uh, that you can get out of it. One is hemp oil, and hemp oil doesn't have a whole lot of CBD, but you'll see it on the market saying CBD, uh, but really it's just an oil extractor from the hemp seed. Two is an isolate. An isolate is for those who can do, who prefer not to have any other cannabinoid, just the CBD all by itself. It's usually this cooked down powder. Uh, if you can kind of see this, it's just a powder. So once they extract the product and they use certain solvents, they get it all the way down to just CBD only. And then finally, uh, a CBD distillate. This is uh, the concentrate from uh, the plant. This is how it shows up to us. I would touch it, but then that's cross-contamination. Uh, this batch has already been third-party tested, so I don't want to mess with it. Uh, this, uh, this is what we call, this is what we refer to as full-spectrum CBD distillate. Now, what does that mean? Full-spectrum CBD distillate says that everything in the plant is still preserved. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, because that plant is full of cannabinoids. So that means that plant also has uh, CBDV, CBDA, CBG, CBD, THC, THC Delta-8. So there's lots of cannabinoids in there. Now, so you heard me say THC, so then you're like, okay, so am I a little worried about the THC? Well, first of all, know that the science out there referred to as the entourage effect, says that all these cannabinoids together have a, a greater value to you than just one cannabinoid uh, extracted by itself. But if you look down here, you'll not only see uh, how much CBD is in this full bottle. This is a 30 ml bottle, the full amount here. And this is what the bottle was. So it's 1500. There's actually just you know, right around 2,000 milligrams of CBD in it, so this one's a little bit high. Uh, but if you go over here to the right, it says how much active THC is there, and it says 0.02. So we are actually, through the third-party testing, able to see where we land uh, as it, uh, as it uh, applies to the federal regulations. So 0.03% THC or less is the way the Farm Bill has stated uh, that it is now considered hemp and is a commodity and is no longer on the drug schedule. Uh, well, I hope this clears up why Canafil is so strong. Uh, and it really has to do with this wonderful material right here, the CBD distillate. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is crazy good. It's, it's what I created to help uh, solve my family members' problems. And uh, now I've, I've created a clinical brand and passed it on to you. Okay, thanks, bye.